I, you know, I never, I never dreamt that I would be standing here, you know, talking about Hervé Fillon's record. To me, that was untouchable when I started dreaming. I mean, when I started racing, I, I dreamt of winning a thousand races. That was a, that was a big number, it seemed. I still haven't got to the countdown yet. You know, 21's a long way off. Uh, still a lot of things have to go right. I wish it was as easy to win races as everybody, you know, thinks it is. It would be over with uh, last week. But, you know, um, it's, it's, uh, I'm reflecting a lot the last couple weeks since I started driving horses. And uh, it's been a lot of work. And uh, everybody's been so supportive and behind me. And, uh, you know, you take a lot of that stuff for granted until, uh, you know, you get to a limestone, a, a milestone like this, and uh, then you start to reflect back on all the good horses you've raced and all the good people you've raced for over the years. Uh, my first win was a horse right here by the name of Red's Folly. I remember the two previous weeks she should have won, and I made mistakes in the race. Uh, and. And I think that she was so much the best that night that all I had to do was stay in the sulky and, and she'd win. And luckily, we stayed in the sulky. Well, every race I go into, I, I pretty much have a game plan before the race starts. It's a lot like being quarterback, I would guess, to compare it to something, is uh, you have a game plan, but in case, it, it is, in case when the gate opens, it doesn't look like it's gonna unfold that way, you've gotta go to plan B or C, have a check off. So, you know, that's number one, you have to do a lot of reacting when the gate opens. And, and the older you get, that's what's so great about this business. Nothing helps you more than experience. And I think as I've gotten older, that uh, experience has won me a lot of races, especially here on my home track, which is a hard track to drive if you've never driven it. And that shows when the drivers from out east come in here, you know, a lot of times they'll struggle. But uh, I feel it's a huge advantage for me. My favorite harness horse uh, is going to have to be the horse that I'm racing this year. His name is Sweet Lou, who's won uh, major stake races and was the Breeders' Crown Champion last year. So we're looking for big things out of him. Hopefully, my second Adios winner. I surely want to set the record here, and I hope it gets done here. You know, I always loved horses, and to be able to do something that involved horses and, and be successful at it. It's just like icing on the cake.